Okay, Monica, we must start now. Yeah, okay, I'm audible. Hello. Yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. This is your host, Monica Haman from third year electrical department. Welcomes you all to the second lecture of Urja Talk series organized by Training and Placement Cell in association with Department of Electrical Engineering. Urja Talk is an init initiative of Department of Electrical Engineering to bridge the gap between students and alumni to make students aware about career opportunities and industry exposure. SDG's Training and Placement Cell has established for the first time to have active participation from the student side. The cell undergoes various activities like coordinating placement drives, organizing webinars, conducting workshops, training programs, and creating awareness among students regarding available career options and help them in identifying their career objectives. Today's lecture is on the topic career in IT industry for non-IT engineering graduates. To know more about the topic, we have an amazing speaker with us. He is our alumni of batch 2015 and is a graduate in electrical engineering. He carries overall six years of experience in IT industry. Currently, he is working at Tech Mahindra as a technical team lead. Previously, he has worked with Persistent Systems for one year as a lead software engineer. And before that, uh, he was with TCS for five years as a system engineer to IT analyst. We know that small daily improvements bring revolutionary results and we look to the learned people to suggest improvements. So I invite our guest to enlighten us with his ideas, Mr. Mohammed Umar sir. Thank you, Monica. Thank you for the introduction. I'll start my video. Let me know if, if that's visible. Yes. Oh, yes, yeah. so it's visible. Great. So, <clears throat> good morning, everybody. Uh, let me. Right. So, since Monica has already given an uh, introduction about uh, myself, so I'll, I'll be just uh, adding a few things, which is. I uh, I have completed as an electrical engineer from the from, from one of the reputed institute of uh, Maharashtra, which is our SGGS college, uh, in electrical engineering uh, itself in 2015, which was the first batch we have uh, passed out from the SGGS. Uh, that time, like uh, after that, uh, in in final year, we had the campus recruitment uh, from the TCS has come to come for the recruitment, wherein uh, I was selected uh, as a in, as a ITIS engineer, as a support engineer in the support field. Uh, since then, I was working with TCS from 2015 to 2020. I was working with TCS only. Uh, TCS, uh, everybody knows that it's a big, huge organization, wherein um, I've learned a lot uh, right from basics to, to the intermediate level. Then I have uh, looking for the career opportunities and looking for my aspired uh, where where I was aspired for for the technologies. I have switched it and moved into the persistent system, which is again uh, very uh, very good company as far as the technical skills are concerned. There I've worked for almost a year and then I have switched uh, recently to the Tech Mahindra. So currently I'm working in Tech Mahindra as a technical team lead uh, in one of the grooming technologies, which is Salesforce. So to start with the, with the session, uh, before I start, I would just say that I'm not a professional speaker or something. So I would just share my experience and a basic knowledge of uh, what, uh, what this IT industry has for the non-IT graduates. So let me know if, if the screen is visible with the presentation. Can somebody confirm? Yes, sir, visible. Great. Okay. So the today's topic is the scope of IT in a core engineering branches, which is a non-IT, I would say a non-IT graduates, be it engineering, be it any graduate, which is non-IT. So 
this is i would say in the recent time has become the hot topic because of this pandemic and because of recent few years for last few years uh, technology has been evolving like anything it is increasing uh, in, in, a, uh, in a very fast rate so how um, i mean uh, how this this question comes to everybody like to everyone's mind who are a non-IT graduate that uh, being a non-IT person, kind of being a mechanical, electrical, being electronics engineer, how, how we will survive, what we will do in the IT industry. We have spent almost four or five years of our career uh, um, as a student in, in the core branches. So yeah, definitely before that I would say if we are uh, if we have some uh, good knowledge and we have good understanding of the core branches like if since we are doing from the electrical engineering if we have good understanding if we can go that that is what your aim is that is what your goal is you want to move in that technology definitely I would suggest for that I would uh, I, I would not say that you should uh, you should not go with your passion rather than with the with the financial uh, benefits so uh, monetary benefits are there everywhere if if we have the capability to do something be it uh, so electrical engineering like electrical jobs we have so many jobs uh, since the session is not about the electrical so if we have not but there is a very 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 good career in it industry for the non-it graduates there is no harm in that uh, so with the session we will start like the agenda would be like what is the it actually and why it why it industry and then benefits of it as a career that is what we will see and what is the scope of this it in the near future and what the prerequisites to jump into the it industry that also we will look after and We'll see a few interview techniques or how can we uh, track the interviews or jump into the uh, into an IT industry. And then we'll have more of a question answer uh, session. I would really appreciate if this session can be a two way communication rather than just uh, I'm speaking. So we'll have, uh, we'll spend more time on the discussion. So I'll just give a brief introduction about these topics and then we'll directly jump into the uh into the question answer session where uh, i i can explain uh, i can answer your questions wherein you have uh, difficulties or you have ev every non it graduate or be it any graduate they'll have a lot of questions so we'll go through that and we'll see so moving ahead uh with this like what is it so we can see uh, and there's kind of IT's uh, use of computer to create the processes, store and exchange all kind of electronic data and information. Since we all know that every company is looking for their data, every company and in the today's world, everyone is moving out of their paperwork, maintaining the files, everything like uh, whenever their business comes in, they have some products. So. Uh, to maintain everything on the paper. Now everybody, like be it a very small scale company, be it kind of a 10, uh, a company of a 10 uh, engineers, they are also moving with the IT because uh, nobody wants to maintain all this, um, what to say, all this paperwork and files. Everybody wants the ease of information. They can access their information easily. So. To exchange that all of that electronic data, that is what the IT is all about. That is what you can, with the help of IT, you can easily access the data. I mean, companies can, business users can access their data anywhere they want with the help of mobile because data is, uh, today's world data is being stored on the cloud. So we can access from anywhere, anytime. So that is one, uh, one, one of the things and ideas typically use within the context of business operation as opposed to personal or entertainment technologies and IT system includes a system which involves hardware, software and peripheral equipment operated by a limited group of IT users. This is just a definition kind of wherein 
it's not about that it is just that coding 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 language and typical what to say uh typical what we look after is um, what what our mindset comes in because when when i was um, i was a uh, when i was studying my perception was kind of it engineers or software engineers what they will be doing is kind of coding coding they'll be building developing applications and all that stuff but that's not the real case that's not only the it's it is a lot beyond that so we'll see what what all the things we have in it uh, for that uh, for that matter okay so moving next so moving to the next topic why it so as i said already access or access to the information like as i have already explained the importance of the data every company is maintaining their data security and everything so access to that information and be it uh, be it on the internet or uh, be it from like with the help of internet data is being stored onto the cloud they access the data wherever they want because the business user travel frequently or the people like even if you are not a business user if you are a simple engineer we also need to access the data kind of right so that access of information it gives us like it is the one who provides that uh, that information saves time how everybody knows nowadays like how it is useful to save the time to do the lot complex uh, calculations to the lot complex business logics i mean whatever uh, if some company uh, everybody is going to moving towards the automation so if they want something to happen like automatically and they want the, that after clicking on this button this specific thing should happen it should generate this sort of report they want that not to write things and automatically after few clicks or few types they want things to happen easily with that what provide that it provides it saves a lot of time a lot of time for the maintaining the records maintaining the information communication communication this is one of the key factor this is one of the uh, i would say uh, the best uh, example uh, you can find when when you when you move to the it industry because the, because the communication is all on the international standards it's not just that uh, again it's not that if we are not aware of the uh, communication if our communication skill is not that uh, that good communication skill is not just a uh, english it's about the personal skills as well personal like how you speak it's not just a reading a paragraph or something kind of right so communication builds your personality you build your communication skill to a very good level in into the it industry like you get to communicate with many users many managers you get to communicate with the international customers us customers uk customers you get to know the different uh, different way how the international users are communicating because if you talk to a us person and if you talk to a uk person you will find a lot of difference in the in their uh, in their way how they communicate if you talk to some middle east users if you talk to some Af african users it's a the difference so you get to understand the world how how the communication skill is and how the understanding is and ease of mobility as uh, i have already explained like everybody is now on the cell phone like we need everything onto the cell phone so mobility has been like ease of information to everything has been be has become very simple with the help of this it it is again a cost efficient like if you need to maintain your data and to maintain your kind of automation you will need a lot of resources you will need a lot of uh, uh, what to say um, infrastructure but with the help of it with one application developed with the one time uh, as a company if i talk about the company will invest one time and build one application with the help of application they can save a lot of recurring cost which they keep on getting so that's again one of the benefits of it that's uh, and learning new techniques as i say 
uh, said already that uh, technologies are keep on evolving. So you will learn a lot of new technologies. You'll understand how this IT exactly works, how this, uh, how this exactly market works. It's not just that we have learned one, one specific subject and you will, you will work on that throughout your career. It's not at all like that. You will work on that subject for some time. And then again, you will have some upgraded technology. So it's, it's continuously new learnings, new things we'll be learning. And again, yeah, globalization, as I have already explained about the international standards, even with the, uh, this IT has, uh, has provided this globalization feature. It has globalized, uh, thing, right. From accessing one application from here at, from my home accessing the same thing from some other country, some other piece of the world in anywhere, they are also accessing the same thing. We are also accessing the same thing. It's not a difference. So it's an improved banking. The banking process has again become very smooth with the help of IT. Because if you have seen, uh, if you have heard, if you would have heard, all the banks have given their projects to the IT companies. Because a bank's project, financial projects, insurance, banks, all these projects are very important. So everybody has given their projects to the banking. So the IT has provided banking a lot of good features to make their uh, functional smooth. And the artificial intelligence, the today's uh, hot topic and the evolving thing. Okay, so moving next, we will understand the benefits of IT as a career. Okay, this is, this is very important uh, point wherein uh, we will we will be being a non it graduate we will think like what will be the benefits for me benefit for me in an it career what i'll get first of all a quick employment i would say quick employment around uh, why why i said this because in it industry around 12000 companies are working fully in india itself it companies i'm talking about so getting a job into an IT industry is not so difficult. It's you will have n number of technologies. IT is not just one piece of thing that as, as I said, coding and developing an application. There are so many job roles. There are so many things which we can do in IT industry, which we'll see in further slide. But uh, looking at the career, I mean, looking at the employment, it's, it's much easier than uh, getting an employment uh, in other industry. So again, variety of career opportunities. As I said, it has a lot of technologies, a lot of technologies, like starting from cloud to the backend database to everything, like so many technologies we have uh, with the help of IT and so many career opportunities. It's not just that you will be a programmer or you will be a support engineer or you will be a team leader for all of your career. It's not at all like that you will get a lot of things to work on a lot of opportunities where you can check like is this your point of interest you can definitely move in it it's not that you are stick to one thing you are stick to one documentation you are stick to one excel it's not at all like that if you are inspired or if you are uh, if you have an aspiration to move in specific thing definitely we have a lot of things to move in and easy career growth, easy career growth, why I would say is uh, if you uh, in the in the initial phase of your IT career, definitely not in this IT career, everywhere you will go initial phase for one or two years, everyone will have a struggle. Everyone will have a hard time to learn the things like even when we come as a graduate uh, for the engineering at the in the first year. We do, we do not know anything like it's a hard time for us to learn the things, be it from, be it a match or be it uh, some core subjects, machine or like in, in the first year, we have basically the normal subjects, but when we come to the second year, you get the machines, you get the transformer subject. So it's not that we know about it. Like we put our efforts to learn that, right? But the same thing applies everywhere. We come into an, into an IT industry. And we learn things and once we learn things, the growth in the further future is really easy. I found this, I find it easy for the future growth. 
because uh, in IT industry, you will find you will be promoted or you will have the compensation based on your performance. Like performance is all about your skills, the way you perform and everybody will perform uh, based on their ability. It's not that everyone is able to do the same task. It's not at all that somebody is able to do uh, he's he's doing he's performing well i'm not performing well it's not at all like that you will have a very high chances of uh, chances of performing well and getting promoted uh, promoted very easily it's not that you will have a promotion after 5 years or 10 years of uh, spending your time into an it industry you can get promoted within a year within a two year i've seen many of my friends who uh, who have um, who went to the on site like to the multiple countries within two years of their career, right? Because they had their aspirations for the on-site, right? Whoever, based on your aspiration, based on your goal, what exactly you want, what exactly uh, point you are setting where you want to reach. Like, I want to reach somewhere like this, this much salary I want to achieve at one point of time in this, this much year and this country I want to get settled in India. If want uh, in India, I want this much of salary because many of the uh, colleagues want that they, they will have specific goals set for them. So again, I would say everyone to set their goals like what exactly we want in this much of time in five years. What exactly where I should see myself in five years? Okay, so it pays well. Now everybody knows that the IT really pays well. It is, uh, it is not like, uh, but in some cases we will have in the initial phase of our career, first or second year of our experience, it would be kind of, we'll have a less compensation, very less compensation around. I've seen uh, guys working for five, uh, 5k, 10k bucks for per month, uh, very hardworking. So they've worked very well for the kind of small scale or anything. But within two years, when they have a very good knowledge, when they get initial knowledge understanding, getting an increment is not, is not at all a problem in IT industry. It's, there is no limit. Like you can get 20% hike, 30%. There is no limit. You can jump from one specific percent to that 500% hike directly. You can jump to the 300% uh, hike directly. What a, <coughs> Whatever you are earning in your two years of one year or two years of experience, you can earn a lot in your three years of experience. It's not that you, you have a 20K salary and then again, it will increase by 5K or 3K, something like that. It doesn't happen like that. I've seen colleagues, my colleagues who have moved from 25K to the 90K within two years in IT industry. It's not at all a problem. So just that what we need to focus is what we are working. We need to expertise that whatever, like if you are doing something like if, if you have an interest in cooking in some time, you, you, will, uh, you will make yourself expertise in that, right? It's not that you are, um, you will not learn cooking or be it anything. Like if your interest is some, somebody is uh, good in playing games. Let's say if he's playing games. So at some time he'll be expertise in that. He'll have expertise. Whatever you do for constantly one or two years, you will be expert in that. So it's not that you need to be a different, you, the experts are coming from the different planet. It's not at all like that. So once you have spent a time with the help, with experience, with time, things get smoother and uh, very easy. A reasonable education. Uh, as I said, learning, apart from learning, I would say in IT industry, it provides a lot of higher education facilities, higher education facilities, be it whatever you want to learn. Companies provide that they fund, they provide funds to you to learn that specific thing, be it external technology, be it external certification, be it, be it higher education, companies pays for that. So they. Uh, appreciate you they encourage you to do things so that they, these are some uh, these are few highlighted benefits i found uh, for for the career in it industry so for a non it graduates okay so now we will see what are the job roles that a it graduate a non it person like uh, us i mean non it person can have in it industry let's see that 
So moving next, so scope of again, what are the job roles we can have here? Starting from a developer programmer, like developer is, who is developer? Developer is somebody who develops the application, like they get the requirement from the customer. This is how they need an application to be built. Okay, so they develop an application that is a developer. They use the coding, coding skills like different languages. They use different, uh, there are so many languages in IT industry, right? From the C, C++, Java, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python, be it anything, cloud languages, many new languages are coming in. So if somebody is having an interest in the coding, then they have a the, the very famous role that is a developer and programmer. If somebody is not into the coding, like into the IT, like, like myself, I was not having an interest into the coding. I was, I did not know a single thing about the coding or computer science when I was appearing for the interview or when I joined the TCS, I did not know a single thing about this, um, coding skills or any language, nothing, zero. So they have multiple job roles kind of support engineer. Support engineer is what? Support engineer is uh, like in the market, you get to know like many people say support engineer, uh, don't do the support job, it's a 24 by seven job, kind of like you may need to work on different shifts. <coughs> support job is like that, we may need to work in different shifts, but support job is again a good you will have your own flexibility if you want to work in this specific shift you can get into that shift you can work for the shift you can work i mean for the other time like if you want the first half to be free for your day up to two o'clock you can take a shift from two to again that is that is the personal i'm talking about the benefit but it doesn't need the support engineer doesn't need so much of technical skills to be honest the support engineer is kind of the infrastructure engineer, ITIS engineer, which I call IT infrastructure engineer, wherein what we get to do is they have a standard SOPs, standard procedures, everything has been made by the company. They take you, they train you well, like we need to use this specific tool like this. We need to click here, we need to do after clicking on this, this comes up. We need to fill this information. We need to do this. It's kind of like we use, uh, since everybody is using MS Word, PowerPoint or Excel, like we know after clicking on this, this thing happens, right? Similarly, industrial project and production, like in industry tools are there or like many tools are there, like which companies, different companies softwares are using, they are using. Like after clicking on this, this thing happened. Company provides training for that. Like this is how you used to, uh, you need to use that. If this problem comes in, this is how you need to resolve. They provide many, like 80% of the solutions are also uh, available for with the, with the uh, documents, procedure. Just that we need to put a bit of our understanding, like how the things are going. So that is again, a tester. Who is a tester? Tester is, uh, uh, he, he doesn't, a tester doesn't need any, uh, much of a technical skill. He doesn't need to know much of the coding, debugging and all that. What is happening? He doesn't need to. He will test the application. A business will give the application. This application needs to be developed. I need this application. Uh, I need this specific application and then yeah, I need this specific application Okay, so business will just give a requirement, but it's a company who service or any company who develop that application and there is one testing team who, who test that specific application. Is this application working as per the requirement as expected? What the business has asked for? Is this working everything fine? It's just a flow of test. Like after clicking on this business want this to happen. Is this happening? That's a tester. So testing doesn't again need a coding or IT skills at all, I would say. Initially, again, I would say in this phase as well, company provides you training, like how to do all this stuff. Then again, business analyst. Business analyst is one of those guys like who are, um, um, it, it's not for specific people, but what, what the business analyst means is 
like if i am a company representative and i have a customer i am a business analyst i will go to the customer and i will check what is their requirement i will think in a broader perspective like how this application needs how they need a application i will do a documentation proper i will be the point of contact with the customer to understand the requirement get those requirement cleared clear all the queries and questions everything and then give that specific requirement to my development team okay he doesn't need to develop anything he just need to gather the requirement understand the requirement it's all about understanding if we like if you are talking like you will understand this is what is happening this is what they need this is how it is working so that's it that's the business analyst and this is very good role and it gets really paid well okay so functional consultant again a functional consult uh, consultant is something a specific application how that specific application functionally working let's say i would say a banking application how the loan is getting punched how the loan is getting processed how i mean what they have the terms their business terms like loan their top up like these all terms and uh, terms and uh, their uh, notations they they should know they should be they should be thinking as a functional perspective this is what the functional is happening this is again an it role itself in the it industry we have the functional consultant i mean it companies will have a functional consultant as well they will functionally analyze the requirement and then technically discuss with the with the business analyst i can see some charts but definitely we will cover each and every point in the in just after one or two slide we will cover in the question and answer session so just i'll complete one or two slide more okay so come again i've explained the support engineer then when you spend few years in one technology then when you spend 2 3 years or 4 years when you are capable enough to understand that specific process you get promoted to a team leader then you will have your team you have a uh, uh, few team members working under you like you want to working um, you want to be doing the processing you will be managing them like uh, kind of managing you will be leading them this is what the team will reach out to you for any queries or anything you will be the one who will resolve, who will resolve with the help of the experience you carry throughout this 3 4 years of your career you carry a lot of experience right with that experience you help the new joiners like the freshers or a one or two year experience graduates you help them out right so even if we are a graduate we help the uh, we reach out to a team leader they help them us they help uh, they help us like this is how things needs to be done everything is like uh, ask and do ask and do it's not that you need to be a uh, you need to do a rocket science you need to build a lot of good application this is what things should be nothing like that it's a, again ask and do you after uh, spending some time you will have own your own clarity like okay this thing is this this thing can be done like this okay i can do this i can easily manage it this is how your skill gets developed this is how uh, your uh, skill keeps on building okay then again a project manager this is again a experienced uh, role after a team leader you get promoted to a project manager where you will be communicating with the customers where you will be you will be a uh, Uh, you will be managing many team leaders within the team and team leaders will manage specific team but you will manage many team uh, team leaders when you are a project manager so project manager need not to have a technical skill nothing they should have a management skill and management skill comes up with the experience it doesn't get you just by learning things you don't get the management skills properly even if somebody is doing mba they will learn the things but they cannot experience it until uh, they spend time in that like when they will spend some time like 2 3 years they will have this with the help, with that with time we keep on getting the experience so these are the roles which the people like non it guys can do a jobs in different functional i mean different roles in it industry and all of the roles really pays well it's not that some role doesn't pay well or something like that it's all about our what what we are looking for okay so the last thing 
the prerequisites like what 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 are the prerequisites we need uh, to jump into an it industry like you know, there is nothing much i would say there is nothing much it's just a graduate degree it's not just an engineering degree any graduate like i have seen many graduate people i mean graduates with bca or anything also working in it industry it's not that but uh, many uh, a bachelor's degree uh, sorry in engineering since we are engineer uh, that's the point there but a graduate degree is needed okay uh, after that a good personality why i have written that i will come to that later 60% per year or per semester why i have written this it's for the few companies few companies the big mncs will have the requirement that a candidate throughout their career they should have they should maintain a 60% of the bottom line okay so it's not for all the companies again i would say it's for many companies who can, who recruits any candidate if they find good for them like if they if that candidate is having a knowledge they recruit him i mean if that candidate is having a caliber he is having a potential they recruit him it's not that only a 60% candidate but maximum mncs the big companies i would give an example like tcs or uh, infosys or techm these companies big companies are looking for the 60% uh, per semester at least and again a good understanding of the engineering subject when you appear for the interview i would i will say like when i appeared for the interview in tcs uh, i have not answered a single question about the it i have not answered a single question about the it it's about what they are checking is is that person is having a good understanding of what he is learning what he is doing in this graduation if he is able to do well in that he will be able to do well what we will teach them they teach us they train us company train us then we get to learn the things and then our understanding gets clear and then their their mindset is not that does he know javascript language or java language he because interviewer is not stupid he knows that he is learning he is a non it uh, graduate why will learn those technologies in his engineering career but uh, again as an additional it's again a benefit a lot of ben a lot of benefit but in an interview what he will basically look for what you know about what you are learning okay so with that perspective uh, they look for us like uh, when when i was in interview i have been asked a question about network actually you know that i've been given a circuit and i've been asked to find out an output for that <coughs> that was a question for me in, in an interview in 2015 so again uh, at the same point which i have already explained the good person a good personality it's not uh, that we should have a good personality right from the day one or something a good personality is what we can learn like we can check from google or we can understand from the experienced people what will, uh, what what personality a corporate people look for a corporate people look for like like your attire or the way you uh, how polite you are these, these things it, and again it's not a very important point again i would say it's the basic condition it's not a very important point it's the knowledge what is more important so after that you once you are into a corporate sector or into an, into an it industry you will have a good personality after some time like because when you will uh, dress up uh, like when you will have a good dress up when you will go to the office when you will see your surroundings with very like we need an updated things you you get used to it right your personality keeps on building when you meet people when you talk to them when you understand how how they are doing like it it keeps building our confidence and it keeps building our uh, personality so that is again with uh, that comes with the time so the last thing is the interview thing this is the photo of mine i have pasted when i was appearing for the tcs interview when i was in sgs uh, so when i was appearing for the interview before that i clicked this picture so i have just pasted here so now uh, coming to the points which which we need to uh, understand few about the interviews uh, interview techniques so what what we need to be uh, what we need to have the inter skills when appearing for the interview 
have not mentioned anything about the coding or skills or anything. See about you should be clear, you should be concise, you should be subjective, pleasing. It's all about your personal skills. All are the personal skills I have mentioned. It's about the will. You should be passionate. You should be a good communicator. Like what an interviewer look for, for a fresher. I'm not talking about the experienced people. I'm talking about the fresher. For a fresher, an interviewer will only look for how that person is passionate to do something or how that person is kind of explaining or know that thing, whatever he knows, like whatever he has learned, how much does he know that? or how concise he is with his explanation. These few things which also you will get this on uh, on many, many interview websites where they explain like how to build your interview skills. So these are very few things which uh, which which uh, I ha I wanted to highlight like the communication factor and the passion and how passionate are you. Okay, so Okay, so moving to the question. So before moving to the questions, so let me first of all. Okay. Uh, okay. So first of all, now I would say I would share a basic experience about myself. Like what when I moved into the item. This is what the presentation like I have given about the IT industry. Like what uh, what what things are available for a non IT graduate because. Well, I'll share my few experiences because when I moved, uh, like when I got recruited, so I had like, I was thinking like what I'll do in TCS, like I'm an electrical engineer. I've done my diploma and I have spent my three years first diploma in electrical engineering. Then I have spent a lot of time like in engineering three years, six years into the core technical uh, electrical thing. And what I'll do in IT industry, like will I be able to even survive? Like what I'll do? I was in trauma for almost a year, like for first or for first year. That was kind of my situations. So I had a lot of queries. Like um, like I I did not even when when I was uh, when I got recruited, I was in, not in a position to phrase a simple uh, English sentence. To be honest, like I had a very poor communication skill. Very poor communication skill. I could not frame a single sentence. Apart from my name is Umar, I could not make any other sentence. Okay, so that that was my uh, communication skill. So, but I had a lot of fear. Like, what 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 I'll do here? What what things will work for me? Will I be will I be kicked out of a company or will I be a jobless? Like that, a lot of questions. Like, what is there in IT industry? What job role I will perform? So I have just, I said, like, I, I have an elder brother who is, who is my guide. Like he told, don't worry, just jump into that. We'll see what happens, what comes next. I jumped into, I started my career. I mean, I joined TCS. Uh, when I joined TCS for the first month, there was kind of uh, training they have provided. It, it was, it was just the basic understanding of the company, basic understanding of what technologies the company provides, what you need to work, what is the job role we have been given, it is IT infrastructure role, it is a developer role, it is a, uh, again, based on our technical skill, if somebody is having in, in the second, third year or fourth year, if somebody, is, uh, somebody wants to learn some languages, it's again a very good benefit for them. Kind of Java, JavaScript or HTML, CSS, there are many languages. You will see in today's world, like a 10th standard guy knows a HTML language because HTML and CSS language is a very, very easy language to learn. When, uh, and again, I was talking about the interest because nobody, like I don't think a single person from the non-IT background will have an interest in coding. I don't think because it, it's my case as well. But again, when even though you don't have interest, when you will start learning, like I let's see, like what what is there in development, like what is there in coding actually? I will start, okay. I will read something, and after that, the way he is telling, like do this, do this, the same code he is writing, I am writing also in my code, and I see, okay, this is what is happening by by doing this. I will try, okay, let me change this. Let's see, let's see what happens. Let me do this. Let's see what happens. 
let me do this this is how your interest builds it's not that you will have your interest by your own it just it builds with the time like when you will step into that uh, then and then it interest keeps on building and when your interest is uh, developed like you can learn a lot of techn- a lot of languages and into that languages front end languages like we have html css javascript these are languages which are a front end languages front end means means the website which we see what is there at the front end what we see okay the back end language is something when we click on something what operation is getting performed at the back end what data we are calling that is something a back end that is a java language and all object oriented programming languages i mean uh, concepts which we follow uh, that is how our development skill so my interest was not at all with that so when i started i my one month of training was completed i did not understand anything i was completely blank i came to the floor uh, in pune so it was like what i will do initially for the for, for the first year I, that time projects were not there much projects were not there so i have been put into one of the services project actually so i take that project that service desk everybody says the service desk job is very bad and you need to take the calls you need to help the uh, help the users like this is not working this is not working but that specific project for one year has helped me a lot to build my communication skill at least to that level so that i can understand what is saying i can tell what i want like i can convey my message so that i have understood i mean uh, that has i have improved my skills how do i talk i mean my personal development was a lot uh, 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 i have done a lot in that uh, specific project okay but again as i said it's not that one technology will work for whatever you are aspiring for whatever you are looking for you can change any time i was looking for some better role again i was looking for something like technical role technical as in kind of i want to do this something technical so again there was uh, one of the there is one of the technology office 365 like the outlook ms teams onedrive all these microsoft uh, products you know, uh this is this comes into the office 365 package that is again a technology itself so i've been moved into that uh we have been given a standard procedure if this issue comes like this this is the solution for that almost 80% of the problems had a solution 20% again we will search a bit on some do a little bit of research on google or anywhere on microsoft site if not then we have a senior resources they definitely know the solution they help us so it's not that we do not we are put into a, an ocean and nobody is there to help us everyone is there to help you here it's not that you are alone everyone will help you if you don't know anything you can definitely reach out to somebody you they will definitely tell you it's not that they will not help they will say at the time it's not that they will definitely tell you because that is again a benefit for them at them itself that is again one of the performance point of your appraisal like how helping you are how much you have trained your uh, juniors that is again the one of the appraisal point for them so that they do for their benefit like to train you better and you are doing for learning like you have uh, so there is no harm in that you i mean i love the same way i have slowly stepped in learn i mean there was no technical skills involved in that technical as in the coding skills i'm talking about development technical into the server side things like after clicking on this this server so op- this server gets opened after clicking if i click on this this user gets created using a specific tool i got the understanding how the things work <coughs> i have spent around 4 years there i had a lot of uh, problems uh, now but after spending 3 4 years into the industry my aspirations what my goal was move to the nagpur like which is nearest to my hometown i am from amravati basically so uh, the the nagpur is near to me my goal was moving to now nagpur with this this specific six digit salary or something kind of let's say set set any goal like is this salary enough for you in specific city said this goal this is goal what my goal was the primary was moving to the nagpur then the compensation second one okay so i i have done a bit of research that how can i move to the nagpur 
location because if i work in this technology i need to be here because i need to work in within the team itself so i started i have switched the technology like i after spending four years uh, i have taken a step to switch a technology complete technology my four four years of experience has become an unknown one like it has plugged out now i have started again from scratch from zero learning this technology called as salesforce this is a development uh, tool or this is a technology wherein application gets developed to the uh, cloud okay so i have uh, started learning uh, i mean there was one of the external course as well i did that for a month but that was not that helpful but again through the youtube through the there are a lot of online courses platforms we have starting from udemy to the youtube everything we have available whatever you want to know even not to the technology even if you are learning some specific java into the java if you have uh, something called as variable if you put what is variable in youtube there is there will be 15 20 minute video to explain you what is variable a small small chunks are getting uh, are explained very well on the online platform it's not that we do not have the sources to learn so we have a lot of sources to learn similarly i have started learning that i have started like what is what is this java i have learned a bit of object oriented concept what is object oriented concept what is this java exactly then i have learned what is this html then i mean when i was doing that my interest was building like even now i'm not so good coder right because if you see even an it graduate or a non it graduate even if he has if some if a person has done a graduation in computer science i have done in electrical he also needs to learn a lot of technologies a lot of coding skills when he is into the industrial sector it's not that whatever he has learned into the uh, into his engineering computer science that is going to get the benefit for him not at all like that he needs to keep on learning then and, and you are being a non it graduate you are also learning the same thing he is also learning the same thing there is no difference in that no difference literally no difference i am working with and i personally i have seen many of the top managers or like my many wherever managers i have come across with all are from non it background like somebody is mechanical engineer or somebody has done a bca or somebody has done an electrical engineer whatever but they are at a very good position very good position so it's not that a non it person cannot do this so then i have learned the basic of uh, this technologies just give me a second okay just a second I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, I was talking about like how I moved into how I, was, I switched the technology because there are so many technologies to switch in. So I have choose to be into the development sector. So I wanted to move into the development application development. So I've learned a bit of technology one month slowly chunks uh, some specific chunks. Now at least I'm in a position to read a specific code or something like that, right? so with the time you get to learn the things when i was in persist i have switched into 2020 i have switched uh, from tcs to persistent so there i got to learn a lot of technical skills now since i was getting a lot of much better offers uh, from the outside i have everybody is everybody is working for the financial benefits like monetary benefits so i have switched to the tech mahindra wherein i have got a very good offers even i had a lot of good offers it's not that there are so many jobs in it industry so once once you put uh, expertise in one specific thing so uh, like that i was uh, uh, currently i came here so my first goal was to come into the nagpur that i have achieved what my second goal to look for the compensation now getting a compensation like initially as i said few few people say like uh, you are working in it industry getting like 20k or 30k paid only like see he is working somewhere else or like doing anything non technical thing what i feel is being an engineer at least do a technical thing be it a your core technical be it any technical 
be it IT, be it electronic, be it anything. Just I believe personally. I mean, I personally don't believe. Like, I don't. It's it's just my personal opinion. Uh, no no offense to anyone. Like, I don't feel like being a technical person working in a bank or working in some documentation. So you, I mean, something like you in the four year of working in an engineering, you build at least your engineering mindset, not a technology. You build your engineering mindset, right? So that you can technically go anywhere, be it in IT, be it anywhere. So this is what uh, the complete, uh, I mean, uh, my learning curve. So I had these queries, so many queries, which, which, which has been resolved with time. So I would say this, like whatever, uh, like if when, when, uh, for the graduates right now, uh, if you are learning some coding skills, some language, it's, it's a good for you. It's not something bad. Like you are not getting initially, you will not get interest. Like at least few days spend some time like, uh, this, what to say. Uh, even if you will watch some web series initial for one or two episodes, you won't get an interest. I'm not talking about an uh, Indian web series or, series or any, um, any foreign web series. So for one or two uh, episodes, you will not understand me. But once you start understanding now your interest keeps on building. Trust me, your interest will keep on building. So I would recommend like if you can learn any one, any one language, it's just an add on. Knowledge is going to get you benefit at some point of time in your career. So not going to get best. So just learn some, some of the technologies just side by side. Don't, don't just move out of your electrical thing and just learn this technology. I won't recommend that. Focus on your career, focus on your subjects, your electrical thing. But if you are additionally learning some course or something like that, there are so many on the YouTube, like Java or C or C++ or let's say uh, HTML, CSS, anything. You can learn at least you the basic understanding that will help you for the, for the future to learn more about it. So now I will just check the questions. So that's what my basic experience was all about in IT industry, being a non-IT graduate. And everybody can survive with that, can have a very good life in IT industry. It's not that, uh, because at initial phase, two, three years, you will struggle a bit, but after that, you will have a very stable and very good paid out uh, life. So that's, that's for sure. I, I find, I like, I don't see, like, I'm not sure I've seen anybody who is working in IT industry and uh, and kind of getting less paid. Like at some point of time when they spend time, again, when they are upgraded with the technology, with the standard, with the industry, it's not that I have learned this, I won't learn anything, anything more. I am done with this. That's it. So those people, I mean, they won't go. Definitely they won't go. With the technology keeps changing, understand the thing, keeps growing, keeps growing. So that's what I believe. So the first question, could you please uh, provide sir, details? Of mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. You have given a very uh, good presentation and you gave a very clear idea about the IT career for non-IT graduates like us. Uh, now let's proceed with the question and answer sessions. I will read out the questions for you, sir. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, can non CS branch students get in the, into the role of software developer or software engineer? What is the scope in that? Uh, non develop non development background, uh, students can step into a development, right? Yeah, software, dev software, software developer, software developer. Development is something a software developer. Well, whenever I'm using a development word, that's a software developer or software engineer or that's like development, like you're developing or building an application. Yes, definitely. I would say yes. I have even myself. Now I'm a software developer. Like I was, I have started my career as a support engineer, but now I'm a software, uh, software developer. Anybody can change career opportunity or career aspirations at any point of time, but what how they can step into that is i have told if if you want to move into the development sector have a basic understanding of languages kind of like you can learn at least a lang one or two language like it's not 
you don't need to expertise that language nobody is going to ask you the expertise question when you have a four or five years of experience and you look for the other company that time the expertise level of questions will be asked but when you are a fresher or your initial stage of your career very basic level of question will be asked like do you have the understanding of this language definitely yes a big yes that a non it background guy can be a software developer because lot of even our uh, firm, like our junior batch guy uh, one of one of the guys like i, I remember his name gajanan so he was also in persistent he was uh, again like uh, my junior in some other project he is a electrical engineer but now after spending 3 years 4 years of his career into the software uh, i mean into the it industry and development sector he is one of the very good coders of the field very good like he has a lot of good uh, information like good uh, technical skills with respect to the coding so a big yes with that question yes sir the other question is what is the difference between it engineer and software developer engineer uh, it engineer and software developer engineer the way i said development is something when you develop something with the help of coding you are doing coding or you are you you get the requirement from the business okay you develop that application being a developer i'm talking about you get the requirement uh, from customer business analyst or functional consultant will explain you the complete requirement this is what the requirement is you convert that functional requirement to the technical you develop that specific requirement okay once that uh, requirement is developed that goes to the testing team tester team will do the testing like this is what has been developed and after testing it goes to the users production users this application is getting used now if that application now that all the documentation will be done at side by side about that application after doing this this will happen after doing this this will happen so this is all the process documentation will be done at one place in the company there will be separate team so when that that project goes into the production now if production user is facing some issues in that specific application or facing some issues in the user that comes to the it engineer that is a support engineer i said that request come to the support engineer that i am facing this problem in this application now support engineer will be given a complete training about that application like this application performs this way this is how this needs to be done this is how this needs to be resolved as i said standard operating uh, operating procedure will be there so he will simply uh, check if he has the knowledge about it or he will check with the seniors he has the solution he will resolve that query if that person is not having the solution or the support team is not it is out of their scope then it again reach back to the development team who has developed that application that this is the bug or this is the issue in your application like this is this needs to be resolved then again it's a development it is finalized that this is a development bug then development team resolve that issue and push it back to the production this is what the role of support engineer a tester and a developer okay sir and the other question is what do the companies expect from non it students uh as i have already explained before they expect what potential do you have what ever you have done in your four years or four years of graduation whatever you have done or if you are depends what the company job profile is looking for if they are looking for a software developer they will definitely expect a bit of coding knowledge a bit of basics of as i said if they are looking for it infrastructure uh, role then they will look for do you know whatever you have learned do you know the specific network subject do you know the machine subject right they will have one of the electrical engineers with with, uh, with the interview, interview panel it's not that all, all the it guys will be there they will have a electrical engineer as well with them and that person will ask like uh, those questions okay if you know whatever you have learned they will definitely sure that whatever we will train uh, train you you will get to learn you that this person will be able to do if we train this person in something specifically 
they will understand you. They expect your potential. They check what, how, how much passionate you are about. Like, what is your willpower? Like, do you have a will to learn that interviewer with the help of with, with their experience? They get to understand that. Do you have a, are you a passionate or are you just giving an interview just to appear for it? You are not passionate about the job. These things gets understand into the interview itself. So that's the expectation will be being a fresher. Okay, sir. The other question is uh, for specific jobs in IT, which programming languages we need? Okay, so for specific jobs in IT, which programming languages do we need? Programming languages nowadays, I will talk about the today's uh, scenario. Nowadays, most of the uh, most of the languages are running into the object oriented concept. Okay, object oriented concept means the Java language actually. The Java language on the basic, not exactly they will use a Java. Okay, like Java programming syntax is this like I am I am defining the variables, I am doing this is specific syntax after doing this, this will happen. Java coding will have this. Okay, but object oriented Java is nothing but object oriented language. Okay, so the similar way they will have a different language. Like in Salesforce, we have a language called as Apex. Okay, in the Apex, they have their different uh, methods and different terminologies, but concept is same. They will have exactly same concept of Java. This is how you fetch the data. This is how you define the uh, variables. This is how you pull the things. This is how you push the things. Concept is same, but difference is, uh, difference is the upgraded technology that will keep on evolving. We cannot say one specific language, but yeah, definitely the basic languages are your Java is one of the most basic language and Java, HTML, CSS. Uh, these, I would recommend all of you to at least have a basic understanding of these three, four languages, Java, HTML, CSS and a JavaScript, okay? These languages are simple. This is not so, JavaScript you can go later on, don't go early because that is a bit, a bit difficult than the HTML, CSS. HTML is uh, very simple. Like if you want to display, hi, my name is Umar. How can you display that? What tag you will use? That's simple, very simple. When you, when you read about the HTML, that's very easy. CSS, how can, what color can you give, how much font, how, how that specific text should look like, how, where should it be placed, what should be the margin, what should be the difference of the text, these things, the, the alignment, that's a CSS. And Java is the backend language. I would recommend uh, all of you to read at least a basics of Java and understand what the Java, how the Java works. Because even if we are not working on one specific uh, one specific technology, maximum, uh, I would say around 50 to 60% 60, 60 of the development gets done on the Java concept. 50 to 60%. With my experience, I can say 50 to 60% projects will be uh, done on the basis of Java concepts, not on the Java language. On the Java language, we will have a lot of job opportunities. A lot of job opportunities are there for the Java developer. But uh, there may be a different language which works on the Java concept. So concept is what we need to make a strong basis. So these are the languages. One more question. Uh, do non-IT branch student can give interview in an IT company placement interview in today's condition? Definitely. Because you will see a lot of requirements are there for the TCS segment in the Infosys. A lot of freshers are getting recruited. Just that see their entry level criteria. They do not mention a CS graduate. They do not mention a computer science graduate. They mention a BE graduate. Okay. Their specific conditions. So definitely if you are looking for that, if you are sitting in, inter in an interview, you do not know a single thing about the coding, directly mention that I am looking for the support role or I am looking for the infrastructure role in your company. So I will improve my skills with the time. Definitely, the, you, they will be clear with their mind. They will not come up and ask you what is Java and what is HTML and what is this, that. Okay, they will ask you what is your thought process, what 
what you do and they will ask you about your specific chunk of thing but if you know at least a basic of your coding skill you can definitely tell that i'm looking for the developer role i'm looking for development skills in your company or something like that but yes in your, even um, in, into the website of tcscareer.tcs.com or career.any mc you can go and check you will definitely find that any graduate can apply like any b graduate can apply but few companies will have companies like persistent persistent is famous for only technical stuff like they look for the cs graduates they look for the development family so we can move into the persistent like i have moved after spending some time in tcs learning things then i moved to the persistent but there is no problem in that but initially you can move to the job roles wherein they can provide a non it jobs as well non it is in non coding jobs only coding is something which i consider is a non it uh, it and non it is leaving coding anything can come as a non it so there is no harm in that and anybody can apply for that yes oh uh, is ui ux design part of it industry exactly yeah i have told html and cs css is the language which is used for the and javascript these are languages which are used for the ui ux design ui ux means user interface and user experience that is the ui ux so ui means how ui you want an application to look like business said that this this specific thing i need at this place this specific thing i need at this place this ui ux design definitely it's a development part it's a development part and the languages which is used for is the html css jquery uh, do we require to do internship in it sector to crack it company uh i would say it's not a mandatory but it's it will be helpful because if we do a internship in it industry at least even for a month or even for a month you will understand a lot of things like that will be helpful for you to uh, answer in that perspective think in that perspective but if you but even if you are not doing any internship it's not that uh, you won't get selected it's about your knowledge if you say that i have done internship in this, this company intel will, will ask you the questions on your internship like what have you done like how that was working do you know that thing if you know that thing he knows that uh, uh, he will be good to go uh, the last question any electrical based working it company uh electrical based working it company i want uh, i would say electrical based work you won't get a dc machine work or transformer work or power station work definitely definitely you won't get that work in it company but yes in the it company there is a sector eis as well engineering and it services in that sector you you will have a, a technical wherein your technical electrical skills can help wherein they need to develop a program based on your circuits or based on your structure okay so i i am not into that program actually so i have not built any application on that specific thing so but yes there is concept can be used but not like your formulas log like your conditions with that specific thing this should happen like there is an application there is an electrical application we are developing in so we need a it skills as well as electrical skills as well to understand that application right like if we are calculating one specific uh, let's say a specific formula or any any equation we are doing we need to find out that so before that we need to at least understand the thing that this is this is how it works but understanding will be fine but there is no specific job for electrical like you will go on site or something but how service this company do is like if, if definitely they will have electrical uh, like sub like small substation for their company because companies are very big right so they will definitely need so what they do is uh, they hire, they give the tender to to a vendor people like third party companies small 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 uh, it companies sorry electrical companies they directly give that contract to them and they manage the campaign so they don't buy it completely like i need to do the electrical maintenance and everything
Thank you so much, sir, for answering our queries. I can see one question. Could you please provide the details about the DevOps engineer? DevOps engineer is nothing but like uh, as I have explained the cycle, how the requirement comes to us. When the requirement comes to us, a developer develops that requirement. That requirement needs to be pushed from one or the one environment to another environment. Means like the development which we do for any application, we do not do into the main uh, main production. Like there is an application, let's say application X Y Z. That application business users are using that application for the business person. Bank is using that X. Uh, loan application okay loan application they are using so for we cannot do the development in that application because if something goes wrong their application will get shut down what they do is they create a sandboxes like a copy of that exact application in another sandbox it's just a copy of uh, it's, it's just a they buy a space and they create a copy of that application in another sandbox in that is called as a developer sandbox and they develop there and moving that application from the dev one environment to another second level third level environment devops team perform the action they use different tools kind of jenkins git uh, git and bitbucket many many tools are there for the deployment purpose so i would say just uh, moving the stuff from one org to another org or another org to third org the, this DevOps engineer uh, is used for, like DevOps engineer job is all about. We have one more question, sir. Mm -hmm. After doing masters or doing bachelors, which is better mm -hmm. to enter into software development field? If you are doing masters in electrical engineering only, right? If you are looking for the master, if you are, if you want to become a master in electrical engineering, then I would recommend like it, it defines your aspirations, right? You want to move into a core sector only, <laughs> right? Because uh, you, I would recommend if you're doing a master ME, MTech, then go with the core branches, like you go with the core application. But if you are not finding any job or even after doing masters, then definitely IT sector is all open for you. It's not a problem, but I would recommend B is more than enough for entering into an IT and appearing for the interview. It's not a better or something, but B is more than enough to enter into it because uh, uh, because after entering into the company, you can do a lot of master courses, like do anything, like do MBA or do something, any other courses. You can do a master if you want, you can join a company, you can go onto the company bond directly. Company pays you for that. We can go for the masters. We can come, but there will be a slight terms and condition about the company that after completing a master, you must work for two years into the same company or something like that. So those conditions will be there, but you can do masters uh, from the company as well. But there is no something better or something like that be your master. But I would say if you are doing master, then you want to master in your field only, right? In, in electrical engineering. Only. So, uh, so he is from CSIT only, I think. He's okay, from CSIT. CSIT, yeah, from CSIT, definitely by by doing master, definitely you will have upper end. You will know much better thing. You will when when you do a projects in your CS in your IT background. Uh, in your master, when you do a thesis or when, uh, uh, when you submit the projects, definitely that will give you upper end when you are from the CSIT background. Starting packages, yeah. Uh, starting packages, I would tell about like uh, if uh, I would say when I in 2015. Uh, for the starting packages for any non uh, for normal uh, jobs, it was 3.18 when we, we have got recruited in TCS. And for the masters, it was 3.45, I guess, 3.45 or 5.4. There was something difference a bit of for the masters that time, be it MC or MTech, uh, but for the master's degree, they consider a master's degree. They don't consider MCA or MTech, something like that. For the bachelor's degree, it was 3.18 starting packages for TCS and 
but for other companies it will be now again it has been increased for the bachelors it has become 3.4 or 5 i guess or 3.7 i don't know and uh, yeah uh, for masters again a bit more package will be there but uh, uh, but i if, if you want to start a career directly you can do with the you can spend those two years into the it industry after doing bachelors and uh, rather than getting 3.75 or rather than getting 4 lakh package you can get 15 lakh package after two years of your experience getting a package of 10 lakh 15 lakh 12 lakh 13 lakh 10 lakh 20 lakh in five years of your career is not a problem in it industry after five years spending in an IT industry, you can definitely, if you are upgraded with the technology, definitely at least you can reach up to the 20 LP. But with the market standard, it will keep on definitely improving. What is the growth in packages? As I have mentioned, there is no specific growth. Like if you are sitting in one company only, like you are uh, you are working for TCS only, let's say I'm giving TCS again and again because I've spent five years there. So if you are sitting in TCS only, you will definitely get increment of like um, thirty thousand per year, uh, forty thousand per year. That's a very less increment. But definitely, I would recommend to if somebody is want to join IT industry, start your company your career with small scale companies. Do not directly start with your career with the MNCs like TCS with the big MNCs. Why there is a reason? Because for you, a learning curve at the initial stage of your career in small scale company will be very, very high. Like you will get to learn each and everything about that technology if you are in small scale company. Definitely you'll get a lot of work. Definitely you will have a hard time for one year uh, of your career. Definitely. But that is worth it. That will be worth it. Literally worth it because that knowledge can take you to the 500% height at no time. You can, you can just, I've seen my juniors right now who are working in persistent. They've spent around three to, uh, sorry, 1.8 years of experience that guy had. That was my team member only. He was working in my team. Uh, so, <coughs> He was having 1.8 to 2 years of experience. He jumped from 4 to 15. 2 years. Just why? why? Just because of the technical skills. That's all about uh, technical skill, I would say. If you are getting a chance of joining a very big company and a small company, if you are sure that you want to step into the IT, start with your career with the small scale companies because, and then slowly move into that. And TCS has one policy. If you join TCS after you leave TCS you cannot join back again that policy is there so before joining TCS uh, just think about this uh, as well but uh, yeah and placement getting placement into those companies again it's a it's an achievement for us uh, it's not that I I won't say like do not even join those companies you will have a lot of opportunities in big companies as well but the learning curve because learning curve will be a lot higher in small scale. That's the difference I feel. I find. And good. A lot of time. What are the competitive exams after electrical engineering? The com competitive exams after electrical engineering are kind of food. See, I have not appeared for any. I have just appeared for the gate when I was in gate. After that uh, competitive exams, I am not much aware of it because my career has been switched directly right from 2015 when I was graduated. So was I have appeared for initially uh, yeah I forgot to tell that like for the first year I was in trauma like why I'm doing this uh, non IT or non electrical work I have spent because I was good I have done a very good project of electrical engineering in my diploma uh, even we have won a lot around a lakhs of prizes in different price con uh, different exhibitions we have for different colleges and different districts. I I had a good electrical understanding that time, but I was thinking why, why, what, what. 
so that was again one of the thought in first year when i was in first year i have also appeared for the competitive as mahadiscom i have appeared in my transco as well so those things you can definitely mark mahadiscom my transco and mahajanco uh, these three things are there for the government jobs and for private i'm not really sure these things there are, we have a very good like we have a very good staff with us like they can very well guide you about the competitive exams like many many good stuff like channel sir patil sir all are our mentors Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your experience. You have answered many queries. Thank you. Uh, now I would like to uh, invite our faculties to share their views. Yeah, hi, Umar. Hi, all the participants. It was nice uh, to have you on this uh, Ruja talk series. And I literally, I attended, uh, you know, I listened all your words carefully this entire one and a half. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you for bearing me. And uh, it was very useful. I, I seem to say it definitely. Uh, useful to our uh, undergraduate students right from first year to final year so they would get certain path okay because in engineering might be in the first year they would be thinking like that i would become something you know uh, electrical engineers sometimes the circumstances will change and they have to change their path but if we, if they know what are the options so they can think and they can work on it so you being a uh, mentor like uh, you know, in the last Urja talk series, uh, the session was on gate. That uh, now the session is on IT. So, like the variety of sessions would be there, and this kind of uh, discussion definitely will uh, make them, uh, you know, uh, competitive, and uh, they can choose their career path accordingly. So, thank you, Umar, and uh, I always uh, feel happy when you uh, when I interact with all of you guys. You are uh, like assets for electrical engineering department and HGS Institute. And we are very happy to connect with you. So with us, uh, Chandan sir is also here. So he can share uh, his thoughts. Yes. Good morning to all. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Umar. How are you? Good, sir. Good. Uh, number one thing, it feels very good to have the students like you in our career because we learn a lot of things while teaching you. Even now we are learning a lot of things from you people. And as Patil sir said, now you are become an asset. All of you, your badge, your juniors, those who have passed out. And the most important thing is your growth and development. We feel very good and happy. This makes us to smile a lot. The way you were and now you people are developing, growing and working in the reputed organization. That's a very good thing. But uh, the most important thing is that we will be more happy if you set up your own organization in future. This is the thing we are like as an entrepreneur. Yes, sir, definitely. I mean, like we, I remember we are working on the technical grooming. First of all, when when we have a good technical understanding, definitely there will be a there will be an idea of uh, like freelancing wherein you will have a lot of. Uh, graduates uh, who can work. Good, good, good. And uh, congratulations. Uh, actually, I got the update regarding your marriage a few months back. Yeah, yeah thank you so much, sir. <laughs> and uh, even I hope that you have given a lot of uh, inputs, guidance, proper channel path to the students. Thank you for that on behalf of all the department and the college. But I missed due to some technical issues. I was unable to log in, although I log in a little late. Right. So thank you a lot. Thanks a lot. How's going? So I think this is your third organization, right? Yeah, this is third, sir. So right now it's work from home or have you joined the organization? No, no, work from home. Oh, yeah, okay. 
since pandemic okay. this year also okay. also bola okay okay so that's it's feel very happy so thank you a lot thanks all the best for your thank future career you, you, trendy was yes thank you thank you so much yeah. everybody for joining yes, yeah yeah, yeah and uh, on this uh, uh, note i would also like to congratulate the organizing committee of urja talk Rushikesh, Monica, Sauro, <laughs> they are taking efforts <laughs> to contact the alumni and organizing all those stuffs. So that's yeah, good. Ultimately, Rushikesh has contacted me two, three times to get the data, to get some quotes to guide me, like for the things. Yeah, thank you so much, Rishikesh and the TNP team. Because so, this is important apart from academics, like learning uh, yeah, yeah. Subjects and doing uh, practicals. Apart from this, yeah, this kind it, of thing it, will it, help. It helps in the career, definitely external curricular, curricular activities for the resume. These all things matters. Yeah, so thank you, Umar. I, I think they have recorded this session, right? If uh, they, uh, they took the snapshot of screenshot, uh, they will share recording and uh, screenshot or uh, everything with you. And, uh, Yes, your PPT if students need, you can share with them your presentation right. if they need. Just one before ending a session, I missed one question, I guess, from Janvi. If interviewer ask you, you spend four years in four, uh, why you want to come here? Why we should hire you? Right? This was the literally question uh, as uh, asked me to when, when I was appearing for uh tcs interview i mean i don't know like i did not have any clarity even i don't know like what the, what should be the correct answer but what i told is i told that like uh, to be honest i am not uh, really so much aware of the it industry but looking uh, i was looking for like when when you are appearing for one specific company na, you should uh, appreciate that company you should please that company in front of the interviewers that time so that is one of the uh, interview skills so i said tata is one of the great brand i would definitely look after for and uh, i have spent my four years into the technology wherein i have built my engineering mindset wherein i can build the same thing, if I have learned this from the scratch, I can learn anything from the scratch. This is what answer I have given. So based on that, like you can you can give answers. I my aspirations are different and all that stuff. You can if you are switching, but if you are not, then definitely you can being being truthful is always better. Yeah, that's it. That's the last thing. Yeah. Monica, you. Uh, you can take a control and you can conclude. Thank you. Yes, the session has been recorded, uh, recorded by Saurabh and uh, we'll share the recording soon. Uh, also, we'll continue this uh, Urja talk series in the same way and we'll meet on uh, next session on 25th of September at the same time. All attendees to keep a note, uh, the sessions will be shared on YouTube. Uh, the process for the same has been started, uh, but uh, yet the editing part has to be done. Uh, thank okay, so you. One more thing. Done. Last session is uploaded on YouTube? Uh, no, sir. The uh, uh, editing team is on it. Uh, we have six sessions to upload, uh, other okay. departments too. Okay. But it's Okay, uh, all attendees, keep note, uh, you will get the session, you can share it with the students who have not attended, and thanks for joining us. Thank you, Umar. Thanks Thank a you. lot. Have a great day. Monica, Saurabh, Chandan sir, and all the attendees. Thank you.